what is up? Hello, guys. Welcome back to our Seascape Moonscape stream. What's up? What's up? I'm Jesse. Do you guys miss me? Um, hi. For those who don't know me, I'm Jesse from Seascape, and I'm here to play some Moonscape, the game with you guys. Um, for those who already know me, do you guys miss me? <laughs> How was your weekend? So hello, Alfredo CB. Hello, um, Adit, Aditvet. <laughs> hello, Inconfiscible. Um, hi, Deepake. Welcome back, Deepake. I remember you. Hello, welcome, Zach Name. Uh, and hello to all of the Binance users with all of your username that I cannot one by one tell <laughs> hello hello welcome back to our stream how's everyone's weekend everyone had a good weekend i had a blast um i sleep the whole weekend <laughs> so you know the good weekend um so hi guys um today we are gonna continue to play some cool game gonna play our moonscape and I am very, very happy to um, introduce someone special here for everyone. So, I, so, okay, let's see. The first episode, we have um, the game designer, Erland, here. The second episode, we have our OG fam to come here with us, James, to play Moonscape. Um, so, we gotta have a good third episode, just, you know, to keep the momentum going. So, this time, I am very happy to be able to invite my good friend and also my good colleague, uh, the brand manager for Moonscape. So, let's welcome Gloria. So, hello, Gloria. Hey, guys. Nice to meet Hi. you. Hi, Gloria. Hi, Jesse. So, right now, we have 1.2K viewers watching. So, no pressure. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I'm not nervous how, at all. You're, you're not nervous at all. I, I love that. I love it. Um, um, how, how are you? Mm, pretty good. Pretty good. Did you have your dinner yet? Not yet. I'm just uh, planning to work my dog after this live stream. Nice. All right. So, uh, as I mentioned, Gloria is our brand manager for Moonscape. So Gloria, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. So guys, you already know that I'm a brand manager of Moonscape. I'm Gloria. Let me make a brief introduction myself. Um, yeah. So during the past years, I've been work focusing on the media game, uh, mobile game marketing, and for years. And later on, I worked. Uh, I worked as a fans growth hacker, helping the entrepreneurs and the brands across the world to promoting the, to to build up their communities and the brands. And then in 2020, I come across the NFT and DeFi, and I was so excited by the uh, by the prospects of the decentralization and the impact that it will bring to the to the gaming in the in the in in the future so i get involved into the industry and start my journey with with seascape yeah. nice that's great so that's so amazing to understand how um a person who uh, used to be working in a kind of a background and then for mobile like traditional game but then we all gather here around together because of um, the the good thing and the 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 excitement for our future for crypto for DeFi. so that's really interesting so i have a question for gloria how long yeah. have you been with uh seascape 
Oh, that was actually a very lovely story. Um, you know, I my fate with Seascape starting from an online message in 2020. Ooh, online message. That sounds like a good story there. Tell us more about yeah. it. Ha ha ha. Yeah, okay. So at that time I was still working as a fans girls hacker and uh, one day I got a message that that's really an invitation to uh, from uh, Defy and FD project asked me to be a social media manager. So I at that time was I have I totally have no idea with who they are. Uh, I was impressed by a question in the invitation letter asking me what do you think is the most important thing to be a social media manager? Uh, at that time, there are two words that pop up into my mind. Uh, it's passion and faith. Um, you know why? Because um, we are as humans, uh, we have been already created lots of skill terms and uh, certificates to identify who we are and compare one to the other. But uh, from my personal view, and nothing can put you on the long run to, to make you uh, to uh, just to go further uh, without the passion and faith. So, so from there, I start my journey with Seascape. Oh, that is so nice. So you mean <laughs> faith or face? I think both. <laughs> Good faith and, and, and good faith. <laughs> faith is important for girls. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thanks. Well, yeah. I, I, you're a very lovely girl. So yes, that is so great. So that is such a sweet story. Thank you for sharing us with us. Um, that is very interesting. So as a as, as a as a brand manager who's been in crypto for years, um, I. I'm curious to know what are your thoughts on the future GameFi? Yeah, that is definitely a good question. I've been thinking about this for quite a while. Actually, it's a topic in my blog. Uh, so let me elaborate it into two points. The first point, I think it's uh, it's a full-time profession. And as, as you already know that in the early days of the video game development, our developers striving hard to make the game as appealing as the real life. But the te while the technological advances in the graphics, the, the computation and more definitely bridge the gap. Uh, however, the game still lack many of the real life's fundamental incentives, such as the ability to to make a living for the mass majority of the players. However, GameFi as a crypto gaming category, it definitely have the potential to make the playing into, uh, into a full-time profession for, for the masses. I give you an example. Um, during the past years in Philippines, uh, there have been already instances of players supplement incomes and the paying for rent for their uh, with their game five earnings and the second point and um, i should say it's technological advances and um, from with the background of the traditional mobile games let me take a reference from the whole history of the mobile games we are likely to be in the transition point from the age of game five one to game five two that with the with the emerging uh, triple A games emerging, and followed by the get, followed by the age of game by three, which is powered by the AR and VR technology. So to sum up, uh, when you talk about the future of the game five, there are only two points that come into my mind: is first is a full time full time profession, and the second is a uh, is a uh, technological advances. Yeah, that's it. That's very interesting. So like for you, you feel like right now we're at this turning point that game five 1.0 is going to to like transition to become like, you know, 2.0 of game five. So you're thinking like maybe game five in the future could be in the mobile. Like we can have a mobile game that that you can play as a game five game 
yeah, is sure. that definitely mm. yeah i really feel like i feel like um right now we have many good defi and game fight games in mm -hmm. in the market and and in our society but i feel like right now mobile game is still the very big target and very big market that people mm -hmm. love to explore and since like you know everyone has like you know their phone all the time with them so when you're you just imagine a world where when you go to work while you're commute like on a train on a bus and you can still play game five on on your way to work like as an extra thing that you can do other than sleeping or watching YouTube videos. Like that, that's a really good way for you to start your day and also like potentially have like an, an, an a, 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 like additional rewards while you're on your way to work. Yes, definitely. Even for some players, even for some people, they start their daily work on the metaverse playing games and to make a living that's their life yeah so that's why it, it, it that that's the the point that's the most attractive spot for me uh personally that we can do so much we can do so much for with blockchain we can do so much with get DeFi and gamefi like yeah. that is very um like a very strong futuristic trend that that we hop on that yeah. we are very happy for the two of us and the the 1.3k viewers that we are all together sharing this magnificent moment in in our history that i just feel very honored to be a part of it i'm, I'm sure you feel the same me too yes yeah i i love that we all share the excitement of it so while we're on it, I would love to ask you what, other than uh, DeFi and GameFi, what are mm -hmm. your thoughts on Web3? Oh, to talk about this topic, I'm so excited. And <laughs> just uh, yesterday I was reading a news and the title is, let me check. Yeah, the title is the Asian Billionaires Hotel Groups Build Virtual Lands in Decentraland and the Sandbox Metaverse. So we can get a hint of the trends from this from this title. So from from I have a deep feeling from my deep heart that I'm feeling that uh imagine that Web3 is coming and the cookies are coming to an end. So it's my personal view. Then the 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 way we do marketing and advertising is going to be changed forever. Uh why because the web3 is more about the privacy and the less ability to reach the customers as the way we do now um the giant platforms like the facebook google instagram and tiktok they might not exist in the way we see now and uh, mass uh, mass marketing channels Will, de will be decreased. Um, uh, will be decreased, and 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 uh, we gonna to seek for new opportunities, such as building a uh, first party communities, or um, buying a land on the metaverse, or searching for a advertising opportunity inside the game, and and becoming a content creator that's really really interesting this this kind of feedback is really um refreshing from outside because uh i feel like in general like for the general public and including myself we're not really um in the insight group of uh, inner circle of the marketing so or for brand managing or any branding style so it's really interesting from um gloria's point of view to like let us have a fresh eye to see how this uh web 3 is um changing the way we view advertising and view how marketing works so it's really interesting imagining how we were playing a game and instead of um instead of having the the advertising from outside it's within 
inside the game, uh, inside the game, and then、um, instead of using cookies and、uh, Web three, come in strong as a new tool for us to you know secure our privacy, which is really very important to the modern days. For for、mm-hmm. for example, that. I think privacy right now is really much of an issue in a lot of cases. So it's really important for us to have a new fresh of view and a new point that、um, for privacy, all of the games that is really focusing on, for example, blockchain and the crypto tokens and your game, your NFTs, it's really important. For security, so I feel、yeah. like that's also one of the. I, I kind of wanted to bring out the fact that、uh, I kind of mentioned it from the last stream that we Seascape we were working really hard to work with Harbor Security to like make sure that all of our security is in on the top notch and like we're very、yeah. focused on making sure that everyone has the safest. Gaming experience, and also like you'll be safe when within like interact with us through Web three. So that's really interesting. Yes. Yeah. So, without further ado, I believe that we are here to play some Moonscape. Am I right, Gloria? Yeah. yeah sure. So, you want to pl- see me play with play play my my Moonscape? <laughs> yes. Please start your show. <laughs> Yes, let's play. Alrighty, alrighty. I've already got too excited, so I locked in already. <laughs> so Gloria, did you play? Did you play Moonscape at all before? Yes, as a brand manager, I got to play this game, and during the early sets, I already played this game for a couple of times to get me immersive in the Moonscape world, and also it gives me a lot of inspiration and the feelings when I was. Um, preparing the the go to market plan for Moonscape. Ah,、oh, I see. So, so do you enjoy it? Yeah, yeah, of course. And <laughs> and of course, we have a lot of bunch of new features at in store, but we can tell you now. Oh, nice. So, so do you also like me like to boost? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I can't. I'm so. I I I was clicking this to upgrade, and I was like, "Why I cannot click it? Oh, it's too much money. I don't have enough resource." Yeah, that's what happened. Oh, I I think I need to. Okay, let's not enter the game. Let me go pull out the map. Let me go cre- uh, collect my resources. It's been a week. Uh, through a weekend. So I hope my babies are. Doing their job. <laughs> yes, collect. Nice. So, do you still remember how many? How what? What level are you in, Gloria? Well, I'm in level three, I guess. Oh, that's nice. So, do you have a a, a preference? Do you like a specific building or? A resource that you like the most, like rocket juice, the central light. Which one do you like it? Uh, well, I don't have a very specific. I specific specific favors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, uh, for me, like I really like the decent the central light design. Um. Oh, and also Kryptonium. This Kryptonium. So it's really funny. Do you know、uh, Superman? Yeah, like the movie Superman. So、yes. like Superman, um, is um. So he's deadly to Kryptonite.、Uh-huh. It's a stone that if if that stone is near Superman, uh, uh-huh. he'll take away his power and he'll die. And. So that's that that stone that that material name is called kryptonite, and、um, every time when I see kryptonium like this kryptonium, I keep thinking the same thing. I'm I, I keep having an image of me bringing the kryptonium and then to、uh, Superman, and he'll be like, "Oh, okay, I lost my power." <laughs> so like that's why for me, my favorite is kryptonium. 
And I remember、um, the last guest I have. Uh, it's an OG、yeah. member in、um, Seascape. His name is James. He said his favorite is th- this one, Yellowstone. He said、Why? because it. Be- he said because it looks like jewelry. He's like it's <laughs> like pretty jewelries that like you can put on rings and then you can put on necklace. Like he he said he's very pretty. So yeah, that's really funny.、Um, so. I, I'm curious to know that as a brand manager, what is your goal for Moonscape? Yeah, as you know, that、uh, Moonscape is a sci-fi and a futuristic, futuristic、uh, resource management game, and we have been noticing that there is a great demand for this type of the game, which is high quality. So、mm. we come out of this goal and visions to make it a household title within the. Blockchain gaming and blockchain, blockchain NFT and DeFi gaming audience. I see. So you definitely do your homework because I also noticed that there are a lot、mm-hmm. of demands for this type of game, especially like a good quality is most important because I feel like everyone can, everyone can. Can can make games like everyone can make games whatever they want, but it's really about how good and how good of the quality of the game it is and how safe it is. So it's really I I think it's really cool that that you will be able to experience something so um so much like so much like a traditional game. But at the same time, it also served the purpose of a a, a game fight mechanic and a DeFi mechanic. Yeah. So yeah.、Um, so actually, when while we are talking about、um, the DeFi and the game fight mechanics in it, can you tell、mm-hmm. us a little bit about the tokens that we are using in Moonscape? Yeah. Uh, yeah, for the for the Moonscape, the official token is MSCP, and MSCP is also the very first Seascape's cr- player created coins, and it's available on the Moon River and Binance chain. I see.、Mm. So I understand that right now we are not having any DeFi function because we are in、mm-hmm. closed beta. So when we open it, we will be able to use this MSCP token to 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 play this game. Am I right? Yeah. That's cool. So, what is like? What about the tokenomics in the MSCP? Can you like briefly explain a little bit to us? Yeah, of course. Actually, you're the writer of the tokenomics. Yeah, I、news. am. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, shut.、Mm. Like, I'm like writing the article <laughs> and then give it to you. <laughs> yeah, we just released the article to discussing discussing the details about the tokenomics. So,、yes. if you're curious about if you're new players, just、uh, click our、uh, go to our website and、uh, you will check the latest、uh, article. Then you will get the details. Yeah, and also, also, let me just like briefly advertising it. Here, click here.、Uh, if you if yeah, you want if、yeah. you want all of our access and our fo- social, our latest news, our latest article. If you want to see beautiful Gloria or beautiful Jesse, just come to my web, our website, and Twitter, Telegram, YouTube. Everywhere, especially our website, we have everything on our website. So our articles, our games, our right now on game, our ideal project, everything are there. So make sure you go there. <laughs> And also remember the welcome card. Oh yes! So remember <laughs> the welcome <laughs> welcome card that I'm always bugging you guys about. Here, there's the link for it. So remember, you 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 should go and get your get yourself the welcome card. So like in the future, 
uh, we will optimize our stream and you can tell us how you think about it which one you wanted to see more you you, you this is the first time you see Gloria and you want to see more Gloria and less Jesse or more Jesse and more Gloria like you can always leave the comment right there so we can we can work our way as your request so and also like from last stream you guys see how like the 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 people are asking some advice people are asking some commands like saying that oh you should do more tokenomics oh you should have this in exchange and and see we're doing it so all of your feedbacks are all appreciated so please go and have a ha fill up the welcome card so we can optimize our stream so thank you gloria for informing me so because I sometimes I forget like yeah. I, I love that you 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 just like oh make sure you do this I, I really I need remember that. that in case that we forgot yeah I know I know that's why we need two people in the show because I forget things all the time <laughs> me too yeah so um so actually so once we are all like um understand um the tokenomics while like reading the article um so for those who couldn't go to read the whole article right now because you're too busy looking at us <laughs> uh-huh um so what can we do with mscp just like a simple what can we do with it generally there are three usage for the mscp first you can use MSCP to refine the moon dust. So as you know, the moon dust is the magical resources in Moonscape, which will bring magical power and incentives to not only the purchasing players, but also to everyone in the, in the Moonscape game. And the second point, you can stake MSCP in the DeFi post or rewards. And the last one, you can use the MSCP to, to upgrade to to do the upgrading the cities to speed up the time yeah yes i personally feel like all of the all of the functions that you can use for mscp is really really like you know um worth it and very much of a like worth your buck because um not only can you um, have some special premium resources through Moondust, Moon if you buy Moondust, you can also speed the game. So like, as you can see, like on our screen, right now, I just upgrade from level two to level three. And it is an hour wait. Like our stream are even not that long, like not mm -hmm. even that long. So. I'm an impatient person, as everyone can understand, <laughs> as everyone see. Um, I never want to wait things. So it really, it's really much of a thing for me when when this game release in public. It's really a very good tool that you can buy moon dust through MSCP and then you can like speed up your upgrading. So you can upgrade faster to be able to go or um, shield up your protection to have more time for you to go around and raid other people's city. As we've seen last time that killing aliens are, are already hard. Um, like raiding other people's city is even harder if you don't have enough level to uh, if you don't have the the upgrading and then the enough level and so it's really important and last but not least like also you can stake it in the DeFi pool so like not to mention it's like do you know those uh bueno egg gloria that is like a chocolate egg and they uh -huh. have like treats in inside like toys in inside I don't think it's like a very old treat. It's like a chocolate egg shape, and then inside has a it, it has a, a little toy. So for me, it's like that. It's like you get two funds. You can eat the chocolate and you can get the toy. So it's like when whenever I'm playing a DeFi game, not only do I get a game that I can play and enjoy, 
I can also have a chance to earn. Like I play and earn, so I can also stake my tokens in the DeFi pools and also get a reward from it. So it's a very much of a you know passive income for a lot of you, where like you just need to play the game and invest, and you get rewards back. So I think this is like the you know oh in Chinese we have one one sentence is one stone two birds right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's very much of a one stone two bird situation. So yeah, it's really fun that you get you 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 have one game that you can do both of it. So you can use it to optimize your game, and also you can use use MSCP to stake inside your um inside your DeFi pools to earn rewards. Yes, and it's so, also I think uh, one of the advantage of this game is it's. It's friendly to almost every players, not only not only to the purchasing players, because for those non-purchasing -purchase, players, they can and uh, they can get rewards from what they have uh, what they have contributed in this game. So mm -hmm. it's in some ways fair. Yes, and right now I'm just up trying my very best to upgrade as much as I can. It's so expensive. I really like this neon style. Yeah, I really like the building too. It's uh, and like because in the did you see the middle one? Mm -hmm. The middle one has like a pink halo like circle on the top. It's yeah. really cute. Uh, you get it when you're at level five. So Erlen told me that Erlen is the game designer. So Erlen told me. Every level three, you get an upgrade of the outside looking outside look, and five is like where it gets bigger and fancier. So I'm I'm really hoping I'm I'm excited. Now it's level four. So next okay. time when when we see these three buildings, it's gonna be a different look, and I'm so excited for it. Let me see if I can do this one. Okay. Upgrading this one too, yeah. So so later, all of my buildings gonna be level five. Everyone, it's gonna look so pretty, and I'm so excited for it. All right. So Gloria, could you introduce us the DeFi function in the in the game? Yes. So as players, you can look for war to three DeFi functions. The LP token staking, the the LP token, uh, the LP staking, the single token staking, and the NFT staking. For LP still LP and the to single token staking, the more you stake, the more the higher the rewards. And uh, for NFT staking, it uh, it is uh it's similar, but instead of staking the single the tokens, you stake the seascape. Seascape NFTs. That means the the lower the generation, the higher the quality you stake, the more rewards you earn. Nice, interesting. So, um, so there are three style. Let me just uh um let me just summarize it. So mm. there are three style of D five that you can do. One is LP staking, which is liquidity pool staking, where you take two two tokens and you make a pair of it and you stake it in the liquidity pool. That's the first one. And second one is the the single token pool, DeFi pool that you can stake. You stake the MSCP into the pool to stake it there for the rewards. And these two for the tokens. The more you stake, the more rewards you get. And the last one is the NFT staking, where you stake our escape NFT, and um, you stake it and get rewards. And also remember that the higher the quality and lower the generation, the better the reward you can you can get. So it's I I think for our escape, one of the thing is very interesting. I talked about it in my in, in the Twitch channel stream that、mm -hmm. our scape 
NFT, it's lower the generation, the better.、Mm-hmm. So, so I I remember when I just joined Seascape, I couldn't figure it out. I remember one day you guys are talking about oh generation zero, and I was like, what? Why there's a zero? Why the generation zero means nothing? No, nothing. No, nothing. <laughs> like, and then you're saying, and then like you're like, oh, we are gonna make a generation three and generation one, and then generation zero is the best. And I was just like, I just can't understand. So it's really important for everyone to understand that generation for our escape NFT is the lower the better. And the quality of the NFT is higher the better. So that's something that you need to, you know, bear in mind. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's something that a lot of people don't understand. So, like as a, a rookie, so I'm just telling people. Let、yeah. me explain about it for the generation. It is created basically to incentivize the early, early, early birds. Because、uh, at the very start, of the seascape, we distribute the the gener- generation zero scapes、uh, for the early for the early contributors. So the earlier you join to the seascape, the higher the rewards you will get. The the more valuable scapes you will earn.、Yeah. Yes, I see. And as you see, I went into a fight. <laughs> Oh, you're my lucky star, Gloria. That is the very first time that that I I hit that button. That I can do it. I think I have a chance. That is the first time I ever finish the whole thing. Is that thing. a spider? That is like um. That is like a spider-like alien, but、mm. that's the small one. So wait until you see the mega, super big alien boss that no one can beat. Like it's not no one can beat. It's just so hard to beat. I I I was talking to um the early um group member and and he was like, I I spent so much so much time upgrading and finally when I when I killed the, that very first. Big boss, I was I was so happy. I wanted to tell everyone, and I was like, "Yes, you did it!" It was really fun. When you play when you play Moonscape, did you encounter any aliens? Yeah,、uh, last time I encounter a, a purple alien, a mega one. Oh no! Every time I meet him, so I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's so fast. It's like you die before you know it. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. I love that your voice has like you. I, I can feel the sadness from your voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm so upset. I don't want to say it anymore. But I'm really curious. I'm really curious how many how many aliens that on the on the moonscape. But I'm I'm ready to explore. Yes, there are so many aliens in different sizes and different powers and different shape of forms as well. That there are、mm. so many of them that I also couldn't like comprehend. Like so many of them, there there are sometimes like they emerge, and I was like, oh, that's a new one. <laughs> and they all look terrible. Like not not like. Ugly, but they're ugly. Like they are so alien looking. <laughs> so、um, that is very interesting that that you are talking about、um, the function and the DeFi. So、mm-hmm. I got one last question before I finally let you go. <laughs> You've been hostage for a while. I know you're hungry. You need、My、to walk your dog.、Happy. Yeah, you're 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 gonna walk your dog, and you're gonna do your have your dinner later. So, last but not least, what do you want to say to people who want to play Moonscape when it's out? Yeah, I I let me think about it. <laughs> okay, I want to end with a saying: disembark, commander, and leave your mark on the moon. 
Wow. Okay. Let me let me just let me just、uh, record it again. Disembark, Commander. Leave your marks on the moon. That is such a well saying. We should、yeah. carve it somewhere on the game. Thank you so much, Gloria, for joining Thank us. Thank you, Jesse. Thank, Thank you, you, everyone. Bye. Thank you, Gloria, everyone. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye, Gloria. Thank you. Nice. So. So that's Gloria. Now that everyone's seeing her, so she is、um, the brand manager, and I'm just really happy that she could be on today.、Um, it's really in interesting.、Um, yeah, two of four. Goodbye, Gloria. I'll let her know that you say goodbye to her. <laughs> so yeah,、um, I would I would love. For more people from our company to show and like to share and play games with us, that would be super fun. So I kind of noticed that in our、um, live chat, there's like、um, bird chick user is stop stop spamming. All right, Binance J M O H. The great thing is that M S C P has one million. Market caps, yeah. So you know, you you will always make sure that you you know follow our latest news because you never know when we're gonna be you know on any news and any new brand new games coming out. So always make sure that you follow our website, Instagram, not Instagram. Twitter, Telegram, YouTube, and you know we're doing streaming on Twitch every Thursday the same time. So always make make sure that you follow all of that. Rayview, watch live stream Moonwalk Chat with Gloria on Finance Life. Oh, thanks for advertising it for us. <laughs> um, Finance J M O H. Hello, um, for to see a.、Uh, A historical member of Seascape. Oh, that's so nice! I love to see some OG people coming here and you know supporting us. That's really nice. And hello, Callen N Z X. Hi. He sent that the person sent a heart. So sending you back, sending you two back. All right, the game looks amazing. I know the game looks amazing. It really does. Fausto Fernandes, good morning. Good morning to you. It is actually evening for me, but good morning. I assume that you're in the states. Nice. That's awesome. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. I bet you guys are like a lot of you are in、um, the states. So good morning. So yeah, so okay, so I I upgraded all of my city for now. So I can't wait to show you guys once it finished upgrading because it takes some time. Yeah, see, so all of it are at level four now.、Um, and according to Erlen, the designer, he said that once it's at level five, it's gonna be a brand new look. So I'm excited to see how it's gonna look like on the next stream. So we'll stay tuned to it. That's really exciting. Um. Also, um. On another note, on Friday we're gonna stream on the same time, but it's gonna be a Chinese stream. So you can stay tuned and stick around. It's still gonna be me. So if you want to see more of me, feel free to come here and say hi to me.、Um, other than that, if you have any questions, if you want to, you know, get to know our community more, if you want to stay tuned to our latest news, or if you want to rewatch this spot, this stream, or if you didn't catch the previous streams, you can also go. All the way to our website, our Twitter, our Telegram, and our YouTube is there, and we're there. 
if you want to find us, you can find us all here. <laughs> so, thank you guys so so much for joining another awesome stream. We got 1.7k viewers that we're that are watching us. So, hello and thank you so much for joining us. And make sure that you. Follow and subscribe to all of our、um, social medias, and stay tuned to our latest news. I'm Jessie, and I hope you have a good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So I'll see you guys on Friday here. But tomorrow, same time, we'll also have a stream on Twitch. The handle is of Seascape Official. So. See you guys. No matter you're gonna be there tomorrow or be here on Friday, I'll see you guys around. Take care. Bye.